You get on a West Country at Panza with 10 coaches on, you know you can slug your heart out. But there was that little bit of pride in getting to that destination on time. Uphill was fine, downhill, you know, was, was better. <laughs> Now his main job is make up his fire, maintain water in the boiler, maintain steam at maximum when needed, and keep reasonably quiet when not. The relationship, it could be difficult, it could be easy. Some engine drivers were very light on working an engine, hence you didn't have to show as much coal. Others were thrashers and bashers. I had two, during my time, I had two long time periods with drivers. I had one for 12 months and I had one for three years. One was I had a reputation when I went there first, but I had 12 months good times with him. The other one, for three years, he worked the engine a bit different. I had to work a little bit harder. But never came to no disagreements. I never fell out with anybody while I was on the rally. You, you got your head down and done it. Whatever was said, the engine driver was king on that footplate. And this dates back to the old days, because even in the early days, that was a job to be proud of. To be an engine driver on the railway, that was prime top job. And when they got there, they were proud men and justified. He had every right to be proud. And they were responsible. So. If a fireman was lax or anything that couldn't maintain steam, they took the can for the lost ticket. You look at some of these vintage photographs, uh, you see the driver and fireman there. He is standing there proud, especially a brand new engine coming out of the works. You know. and this, is, this is where pride was born out, like, you know. It took a long time, although when it did happen, it, it was very, very quick. They were discussing closures for two to three years before it actually happened. Um, we knew it, it was going to happen. We didn't know how drastic it was, it was going to be. I didn't stay to the bitter end, one or two did. Uh, a lot of these were men in their 40s and 50s. Not easy to get other types of jobs. These men had done this all their lives. And um, so their main priority was not what was happening in Weybridge as such. Where am I going to get work? Um, looking back, we think it's a tragedy. in a better sight than seeing summer's day on the footplate of an ought two. You come around Camel Quarry, where the old slate quarries were, and the whole Bay of Pazza opens up to you. One of the greatest scenes you can see. <laughs>